use the data analysis tool pack to get the regression table of coefficients and the ANOVA table. Here we have our explanatory variable and our response variable. Yours will look different based upon your problem. Here we want our explanatory variable to always be on the left and our response variable to be on the right. The first step is to go up to data. Under data, there'll be the data analysis tool pack. Here you want to select regression. Press OK. The first step is to input your Y range. So that's going to be your response variable. I'm going to grab everything under this B column, including the label. Then I'll take the input range of X. Here I'm going to select all of my explanatory variable, including the explanatory variable title. From there I'll select labels. Then I, if I want to, I can choose the confidence level of 95%. This will give me a confidence interval for my intercept and my slope. Then I'll select the output range. From here, I can select any place on my worksheet. So I'm going to put it up here at the top. Doesn't really matter where you put it, doesn't matter. Uh, here you can go to, you can find your residuals and your standardized residuals if you'd like to. I'm gonna do residuals and a residual plot and press okay. Now I can see that I have my table of output, including my correlation coefficient, my coefficient of determination. I can also see that I have my ANOVA table that gives me my F-test statistic and the p-value from the F-test statistic. Notice that the p-value from the F-test statistic is the same as the p-value from the T-stat. These are essentially the same test. Here we can also get all of the other values we need for regression, like our sums of squares, our mean squares, and our degrees of freedom. Here we can find our coefficients for our least squares regression line, where the slope looks like it's 0.35 or 0.36 if we were to round, and the intercept looks like it's 19.3. We have our standard errors, and then we have, of course, our lower and upper bound for our confidence intervals, 19.195 for the slope for the lower bound and 0.152 for the upper bound. This is the way we can use the data analysis tool pack to be able to perform a regression analysis. Now, if we come over here, we can also see our residual plot of our explanatory variable. Here's our explanatory variable versus our, re our residuals. We can see we have a couple of odd values up here, but overall, it looks like there's random scatter. And lastly, we can see that we also have our predicted values down here. If we expand this a little bit more, we can have all of the predicted values for all of our observations in our data set, and then of course also all of the residuals. So if we wanted to make our own residual plot, we could from these residuals as well.